Am I recording? Hey, look at that. Yeah, I am. All right, so this is our project for today. As you see, it's cold out. And, yep, I'm doing it myself because, you know, it saves you a lot of money if you have the ability to. So we're going to replace the upper control arm and the upper ball joint because it's easier just to take three nuts and bolts off than to fight with trying to press this in. And then I tie right in because this thing's all over the road. Um, I bought all Moog parts from Rock Auto. And, you know, it's the easiest way. They come here, they're cheaper, and they get here in a day or two. And, and I didn't have to do the running around and pay the extra for the middleman. <laughs> so, oh, let's get this tire off and, oops, we'll get to it. If I can find the twos. But anyway, so, yeah, yeah, you see this? I live in a rust belt. Nothing I can do about it. That it's made with cheap China steel. First, I'm going to do the tie run. So, you can't see what you're looking at anymore. So, let me uh, switch this around some. Yeah, I live on a dirt road. That one. Uh, that was one. Why isn't it going on? It's this one, right? Yeah, okay. Alright, so I'm going to use 13 sixteenths or 15 sixteenths. I know it's probably metric, but I don't have those. And this is not going to go right for me that way. This way might. All right, here. Come here, you. Crap on there right there. Hmm. Come on, get on there. Yeah, we'll get it off later. Everything's a hammer, right? All right, come on, break loose. Okay. Now, size of this one, smaller than that. I believe it's 13 sixteenths. All right, so, which way is Lucy? Ready, tidy, lefty Lucy, right guys? <laughs> So, anyway, so we push. And of course, since I have spray lube somewhere around here, make life a little easier to get it off, anyways. Since I bumped you, are you still looking? Yeah. BFH. And for right now, I'm just going to count the turns. I don't know. So, anyway, one, two, three. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, so I have to put in the oil insert. And I'm just going to count the turns back on, so. One, uh oh, and then one. Did I not count them right? No. I must not have counted right. Did I lose count? I did lose count. Oh, let me do it again. I got 20 and not 21. Hmm. Okie dokie, pokey. So, we're going to 
Stick her down in there. Where is she not? Oh, I got <laughs> I don't want to do it. Where is it not? Why is it not doing it? Oh, there we go. So I'm gonna push the Carter key through and then turn it down anyways. At least I thought down. Here we go. Yeah, down. Bend it over and up. Now I have little caps. Where are we at there? So I got these little caps and they're just to keep the stuff out of them. So little cap like so and I, <coughs> And they make these things for people with really tiny hands. Because I can't do this. <laughs> so as soon as I get this on there. Or at least start it anyways. I think they self-tap. I'm not positive. There we go. And of course, you know, this is like a 7 millimeter or some off size like that. All right, now a little bit of grease. Let me get the grease good. Okay, so we don't want to put too much in there, but I do want to put some, so I gotta hold her on like that. So we'll go a couple, a couple squirts anyways. One, two, just put something in there. And then the little cappy thing goes, bloop, it's like so. And then that way it don't get all plugged up. All right, so what we have here is we got to get this little guy off right here because he's in the way. So I got to try to salvage that thing out of there, which isn't really easy to get out. But anywho, so that's got to get out of my way. We got to get at a bolt there, over here on this side you can't see, and this one here, and then put the new one in. Uh, the problem I had was things are not wanting to come loose. <laughs> I had to do quite a bit of pry barring. What size this one is? That's it there. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. So let's get on here. Look, I'm over here, guys. I'm over there. I'm right there. There we go. So <laughs> there we go. This would have been so much easier if you'd have sprayed penetrating oil on that. <laughs> She was a pain on the other side, so I'm, I don't expect anything less of this side. So they're 18 mil, and I've absolutely got no leverage in there. So <laughs> that's in the way. So I got a, a leverage bar, <laughs> and it's not working. Because <laughs> you guys are in the way. There we go. Oh. <laughs> awesome isn't it all right so let me uh get this one off and we'll come back in when we pick a fork out and separate this i get this other side off up there so at this point i really wish i had a 90 degree ratchet air ratchet anyways but i don't <laughs> okay i think i can get it off here by hand now i hope anyways <laughs> uh, Come on. Okay, so right behind here is is the block for the the proportioning valve for the brakes. So it's in the way. 
so anyways there there is the wing can't see through that damn light can you all right so that's the wing hits the frame as it spins around when you're tightening and loosening all right so anyways the bolt is in here somewhere there it is it's on there uh, that's the longest 18 mil i have so it's gonna go and and i gotta swing that wing you'll see it come up here in a minute it's on this side all the way around it'll hit the frame before i start loosening the bolt there it goes there see the wing there Okay, now that that took me forever to do. <laughs> I didn't think about, is this going to come off now that I loosen those? Because I did this first on the other side. So, but we'll see, won't we, huh? Woo! All right. Now these are going to be easier. This one here, I don't know about. It's up inside here. See what I'm saying? With the old what'd you guys do with the other one oh there it is <laughs> okay so it comes with this protector thing on it that does not go on there <laughs> so uh so it's got teflon oh am i oh, there we go so it's got teflon on here focus there we go and that'll lock it down so this little cup comes off And then these go up in y'all like so. Mm -hmm. And I think oh, I'm gonna get this in here. I'm gonna do this side a little differently because I had to struggle with the other side. All right, so over here, here, where's the hole? Oh, there it is. Right, so into the hole. And then I think that. Uh, now you're supposed to hold these out straight and like I could not get this on there like that right there so we're not gonna play that game this time well that was not happy with trying to get the other side together all right so I'm gonna get these tightened up and then I'll get this tightened up I'll probably come back in when we get to this one I don't have that size here and then uh, the only thing I gotta do is I gotta get this little clip out of this so we can clip on that and tighten down the the outer up here, the outer and the inner at the tie rod. Tighten that down and put the tire back on. We should be okay. And maybe it'll go straight down the road instead of all over the road. Hmm. Now the fun part, you guys. Look at that. Can you see? <laughs> I'm probably gonna get in your way. Uh, <clears throat> There we go. We got it. Tighten this down. Uh, 
<laughs> I get, if I can get a wrench on it. Oh, there we go. Let's go with that wrench. All right. That's it. I'm good to go. Put the tire bag on. Call it good. So I forgot to take this thing off. It's not a big deal, I can still reach it. But the argument is getting it out of here without messing it up. Because uh, it's one of those Christmas tree deals. And as you can see, there ain't no way to get to it from that side. <laughs> Anyways, that's my project for the week. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you can see outside. See the ice out there, hanging out the door. Um, it was 38 degrees when I started this project. Temps dropping pretty quick. That's why I decided to do it today instead of working on that other project at the moment, because it was warm. <laughs> I don't know some of you are like 38 degrees ain't warm. It is when it's you know in the teens all the time. So, uh. I am cold. I'm not real cold. See? <laughs> so, uh, give her a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Y'all have a great weekend, and maybe I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.